Do you always feel tired? You have no energy, low mood, and it's not really explainable. You went to the doctors and you did a blood test. Everything shows you're normal, but you're just so drained and depleted at the end of the day. And you don't know why. Well, maybe I can offer some answers. One of the important factors is your diet, and I'm not talking to have to be vegan and all that. But you are what you eat, and a few of the the most dangerous things we consume in our everyday life is sugar, too much caffeine, and processed foods. If you we consume sugar, artificial sugar, then we're gonna have that sugar crash, and it's one of the most Dangerous drug in our modern life. Yet no one talks about it. If you consume too much caffeine, it's not as dangerous as sugar, but it also drains your energy. And of course, we can avoid chocolate bars,、uh, chips,、um, even the things that we perceive we think is. Healthy for us, such as granola bars, and energy bars, and protein bars, and juicing, for example, we thought was healthy, but it's not. Juices, once it's broken down from its fruit format, it's pure sugar. It's no different than drinking a can of pop. So increase your vegetable intake, especially high protein, high fiber diet is really good for you. That doesn't mean you have to cut out red meat. Even though it would be ideal, but you can still eat your favorite natural foods. But increase the vegetable intake, in increase the whole grain, increase the healthy fats and fruits, natural fruits, not juices. And all of these diet shifts would give you a boost of energy. If there's one thing you can take away and make a change in your diet, is cutting out artificial sugar. The second factor is the circadian rhythm. Our ancestors they sleep when it's dark, they rise when the sun comes out, and our whole life is in rhythm, in alignment with how the planet works. Nowadays, with the modern technology, we stay up late watching TV, play on our phone, watch social media, bright lights, late into the middle of the our, all our sleep schedule is messed up, and that affects our energy. Study shows even if you have the same amount of sleep, but if you go to sleep super late at night versus before eleven, it makes a huge difference on your energy level. So try to follow the natural rhythm of the planet. When it gets dark, go to sleep at a decent time, ideally before eleven p.m. your local time, and wake up early when the sun comes out. And and follow the same schedules. For your diet as well, don't eat super late. Your last meal several hours before you go to bed, and stop playing on your phones or watching any digital device at least two hours before you sleep. I know, I know, it's hard, but try. Another important factor is exercise. We all know that exercise can boost our energy up, but did you know how much you exercise also makes a huge difference? If you already have a very challenging and exhausting job, or let's say you're a new mom with a small infant, you're already really, really tired from your responsibilities, and you do a super hard workout, for example, CrossFit. That's gonna deplete your energy, not increase. In this scenario, you need to do a more mild, moderate workout: yoga, Pilates, stretching, walking. Very light workout that's actually going to help. Versus, let's say you are on vacation, you can boost your workout exercise level to be a little bit more intense. So adjust your workout exercise level to how your body feels. It's never the more the better. It's what's right for you. So experiment a little bit. Last one is a big one. Ooh, it's heavy. Negative emotions also drain your energy, whether it's depression, anxiety, stress, or just the everyday negative thoughts. We don't realize how many negative thoughts come across our mind every single day, and that clutter up the space and drain our energy. So, be intentional. Be mindful of what you think about will help significantly. On top of that, mindfulness. 
meditation, yoga is all going to help us in mental space more intentionally. On top of that, friendship, exercise, finding a hobby, social connection, all of this is going to help us to get to the next best level. It's unrealistic to expect one day you're depressed and next day you are completely happy and on top of the mountain feeling inspired and motivated. But what we can do is finding the next better feeling. If you're super depressed, even feeling angry is better than feeling depressed and unmotivated. And once you get there, anger is also a negative thought. How can we feel better than angry? So finding, keep finding that slightly better feeling from the very low bottom to bring yourself eventually to positive, feel inspired, love, and gratitude. With all of these factors considered, try one or two of them, ideally all of them, and then you'll find your energy level have a significant change.